Hi, Leo. This is going to be your love reading for March. Let's see what you got going on, shall we? Alright, so I have my Dragon Tarot. I have... Hold on one second. Wait a minute. Okay, so I have my Heal Yourself reading cards um, that I'm going to use for your spirit message. Um, Dragon Tarot. Love Oracle by Simply Spiritual. Sorry, there's a glare there. Romance Angels. And Psychic Tarot of the Heart. Alright, let's dive right in. I feel like this camera's a little bit too close. One second. Okay, let's just go ahead and dive right in. I'm going to start out with my Dragon Tarot for you. Okay. Okay, we're reading now for Leo. What does Leo need to know for March, please? Reading now for Leo. What does Leo need to know for March? And if you are new to my channel, whenever you find this reading, it's for you. All of my readings are timeless. I just, I put the date on them so that people know when they're uploaded. And it's on there anyways, but. Reading now for Leo. Did I just flip these upside down? Leo for March. Leo, Leo. I keep saying Leo for March, but we're just. And if you are a former subscriber, welcome back. So yes, all of my readings are timeless. Okay, can we get four cards to start, please, for Leo? What does Leo need to know? Let me just touch my Lemurian cords real quick. <laughs> Clear my energy. Ah! Leo, what does our Leos need to know? These cards are way too close to me. I gotta move these out of the way, Leo. Eight of Swords. What's that about? Whoa. I can't get any cards. <laughs> Hold on. Like four just flipped up at once. That was so weird. I don't know why that happened. Leo. I need four. Knight of Pentacles. That one keeps coming up for Leo. Two more, please. So we have restrictions, someone being calm and patient, the empress, wow, okay, the devil, really, 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 really Leo, I thought we had gotten past this, I thought we were past the devil, oh my god, hold on. I had to get some damn coffee because I thought we were past the double card, Leo. I could have sworn we were past this double card. It's coming up again. It's coming up again. Oh, sweet Jesus, it's coming up again. So the devil came out right next to the empress. This is like... <laughs> not necessarily a bad thing although it is cause for us to drink some coffee I'm just gonna say that okay because the devil in a love reading can represent um, strong it does represent <laughs> strong um, sexual temptation seduction um, obsession and since it came out right next to the Empress, there is a very strong, heavy energy of um, sensuality and sexuality. Now I'm gonna draw some more cards just to verify it, but um, if this is for a divine feminine, 
I did pull a Knight of Pentacles card that came out right next to the Empress. So I feel like if there is a Divine Masculine that is watching you at this time, then I feel like they um, have not came forward because they feel like almost intimidated by your energy. They feel like maybe they're not um, quite on your level. And if they're the Knight of Pentacles, then, you know, they're, they're, they're definitely not like um, quite on your level because the Divine Feminine is showing up as the Empress in this card. I mean, in this deck. And, you know, the Devil came out right next to her. So this is some obsessive energy. Now, I don't know if that's a negative obsession. <laughs> it doesn't feel negative. It feels very... <sighs> it feels very sexual is what I want to say. But I'm trying to figure out like a less vulgar <laughs> I don't know I guess it's not vulgar sexual is not vulgar but you know what I mean like a less um... <laughs> I, I can't even think of another word like I'm just like that's what it feels like very hot sexual energy do you see why I had to go get the coffee okay we also have eight of swords which is some kind of restriction so I need to Hold on a second. Okay, so I wanted to read about this Knight of Pentacles because I don't really know too much about the Knight of Pentacles. It says, the Knight of Pentacles is useful, reliable, patient, persistent, and loyal. He is cautious by nature, preferring evolution to revolution, but has courage enough when it is called for. He is not a great one for spiritual quests preferring prizes you can hold in the hands over those of the heart and soul. A happy measure of wealth may come your way, but beware reckless spending. Okay, so, you know, this is a love reading, so it doesn't have anything to do with wealth. I mean, it's it's basically represents a divine masculine who's useful, reliable, patient, persistent, loyal, cautious, um, But it does say that he has courage enough when 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 it's called for. So I see him looking at this divine feminine and wanting to make a move or come forward, but being um, intimidated. But you know, it says he's courageous when when called for. So maybe it's just gonna maybe it's, it'll just take a little push for him to like. get his head out of his ass <laughs> see this eight of swords if you look at this there's ladybugs flying all over the lamp this divine masculine is in his head i don't know who this is for but eight of swords shows like restrictions okay restrictions um overthinking things getting inside your head imagining failure before you know you even attempt anything so it's like imagining failure before you even you know attempt anything <laughs> like, like he's already imagining himself failing before anything gets started you know what i mean it's so funny he's already counted himself out <laughs> that's funny okay we're gonna pull two more cards four of cups so you're a little bit bored, Leo, by your love life right now. But also the Four of Cups energy is about stability. This card keeps coming up, Leo. So the Four of Cups is also shows me that, um, you know, Leo, you're not really worried about your love life right now. You're sort of working on creating stability for yourself. Um, you're sort of bored with like the whole dating aspect. <laughs> it's funny. See, four of cups. That's the energy coming from that. Um, okay, so this card keeps coming up for Leo. Um, we have temperance. 
Now, this is integration of masculine and feminine energies. It represents patience, um, the virtues that come with patience, uh, the thing that keeps standing out um, on this card is the dragon behind the divine feminine. And again, I said, you know, this is the energy of a divine masculine um, that is watching this divine feminine. You know, he's watching her sort of do her thing. And this is also an energy of obsessively watching um, So there's that, Leo. Um, let me, I just want to look at this Empress card. This Divine Masculine is also watching her alchemize her emotions. So I just heard that. All right, um, I'm gonna move on. <laughs> we are gonna move on. I'm gonna I'm gonna pull some romance angels and see what they have to say about this energy. But to me, it feels like a very very strong physical sexual attraction, and we will see if these romance angel cards confirms. I know it's gonna confirm because I can feel it. I feel very like flushed and hot all of a sudden too, so I keep hearing noises and I think that my kids are getting up, but sorry if you hear any background noise. And my daughter, she has a terrible cough. You know, they all of my kids had some weird like flu influenza bug. I don't even know. Um, and my daughter has been sick, right? Um, I mean, they were, they were all sick. August, Esme, London, they were all sick. But my daughter, man, her cough has lasted like almost, I want to say three weeks. And we have tried everything. We tried two different types of cough medicines. We tried honey. We tried uh, sea salt water. Um, nothing is helping. We tried those little like lollipops for the throat. I don't know what else to do. Nothing is helping her cough. Okay, Leo. Leo, Leo, Leo. Can we get two, three cards for Leo? Oh, Leo, this is definitely new love for you. It's so funny because during your angel reading, you know, I kind of picked up on the same thing. Okay, we have getting to know each other. As you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. We have very soon clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. So maybe, Leo, you're a little bit indecisive. And so the universe doesn't know what you want right now. And we have this could be the one. You've already met the romantic partner you seek. So if there's someone in your mind, damn it, I keep dropping your cards, Leo. Hold on. <laughs> Flirt. Extend your lighthearted energy to others. I keep dropping your cards. I'm so sorry. I still feel very flushed and hot. This, this sexual energy has not stopped. It is really intense. I am going to be doing, speaking of which... Leo, I'm going to be doing your um, sexual energy read, and it's only going to be uploaded to my Patreon. So I've already uploaded Cancer's sexual energy read for your person. So if um, that interests you, I feel like there's a hair somewhere. Just so you know, these um, sexual energy reads are very, very, very X-rated. The deck that I use is called Filthy. It's called Twin Flame Filthy Fantasies. Like, it's literally filthy fantasies. Like, they're, they're, you guys think I'm joking when I say that they're X-rated. They're really X-rated. So, um, but I also use my sexual tarot, the tarot of sexual magic, which has like tasteful um, nudity. So, 
But cancer's cancer sexual energy was read was off the off the chain. It was called eaten with pleasure. Whoo <laughs> Let's just say there's a reason it was called eaten with pleasure. <laughs> so if that's your thing and you like it a little steamy and sexy and hot, please join me on Patreon. It's only on Patreon. I have three tiers. The first one starts at five fifty five a month. Um, and then there, I don't know, there's like two other tiers and they go up, you know, depending on, um, what, what you want to, you know, how you want to support me. Like, I think the second tier you get like, um, 20% off my Lemurian love deck. And then the third tier you get, it's the, the best value because you get like 50% off my, um, my Lemurian love deck. That's like half off. And right now. It's like, it's half off anyways <laughs> in my Etsy shop. So basically if you sign up for tier three, you'll just get it for free. All right. So we have getting to know each other. Ooh. As you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. Wow. Okay. So some of you Leos, literally, remember I said it feels like new love. You have a new love coming in. And it literally says very soon, very soon, not like later or like, you know, in the near, you know, like in the near future, it literally says very soon. So this is coming in, ready or not. It says clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. So time to give the universe your order and wait. Okay. And we have, this could be the one you've already met the romantic partner you seek. This could, it's so funny how it says this could be the one, could be, but then it says you've already met the romantic partner you seek. <laughs> okay. Flirt, extend your light, hydrant energy to others. Um, there was um, a few other tarot readers that I was watching for Leo and it's so funny because they pulled this exact same card, like two different readers and it was for Leo and it says flirt, extend your light, hydrant energy to others. So Leo, what are you doing? <laughs> Why are you holding back your beautiful charm? Flirt. Get out there and have some fun. Like, it surprises me that this card keeps coming up for Leo because Leos are natural flirts. Like, why are you not out here like winking you eye? Winky. <laughs> winky you eye. <laughs> I meant to say winking your eye. <laughs> why are you not winky? Winking? I cannot talk today. Why are you not out there winking your eyes and batting your eyelashes and, you know, doing this? <laughs> Just kidding. All right, we're moving on. We're moving on, Leo. <laughs> There's a hair somewhere and it's bothering me. I have to stop. Hold on. Seriously, it's going to drive me crazy. I see it right here. Okay, so... Um, I'm going to do the love oracle and then we're going to do, I just ground a little bit. All right. And then we're going to do, I told you this sexual energy is insane. I don't even want to do y'all sexual energy. I'm scared. I don't want to do your sexual energy read. I'm afraid. <laughs> I'm afraid. All right. Cause I can feel it now. It's pretty intense. We're going to do three from here. We're going to do three from the Psychic Tarot of the Heart. And then we're going to do your spirit message. We're going to be done. Why is this deck doing this? <clears throat> All right. What do we got for Leo? Let's wrap it up, spirit. Three cards for Leo. Whoa, that one flew out. I fucking told you. Remember I said that feels like a very strong sexual magnetic attraction. I told you, I was like, I know the cards are going to verify it because I could feel it. I could fucking feel it. I could fucking feel it. I told you. I fucking told you. Oh, look at what we got next, Leo's intuition. Told you I could feel it. <laughs> Some of y'all can feel it too. So, you know what? I feel like um, either, oh, this is not good. Oh no, let's pull one more card. We got third party. So there's a third person involved that is blocking some of this energy. I don't, oh, okay, okay, okay. Oh, let's back up. Okay. So divine masculine or divine feminine, it doesn't matter. 
you're right now your intuition is on fire you are getting all these signs and all these things that are leading you straight to who you think your person is okay so if you have some sort of it, like signs symbols things that are coming in follow that breadcrumb trail i'm telling you i can feel it i spirit is literally literally saying these signs and sinks are not a coincidence they're gonna lead you straight to your person okay these are the two cards okay then i pulled this one third party so this card's freaked me out a little bit for you, Leo, because third party usually means like your person is entangled with someone else's energy. So they are either coming out of a relationship or they are like, like I said, newly coming out of a relationship, um, just getting a divorce. There is some kind of third person energy. So um, for example, this could be like they still live with their ex or they're co-parenting with their ex. Um, their ex is still heavy in their life. Maybe there um, still is some codependency issues. I don't know, but that's the energy. But here's the kicker. We got healing after that. So I feel like all of these issues that are coming up with the third party is for a reason. It is so Either you or your person, Leo, can heal those issues. Okay? That makes sense. Okay. So it's not in vain. All right. Let's pull... Um, let's pull three cards from the Psychic Tarot of the Heart. We're going to wrap it up with your um, spirit message. Okay. We got to wrap it up. Last three final cards for Leo, please. What does Leo need to know about their love life? Let's wrap it up, spirit, please. Oh my God, I'm still sweating. All right, what do our Leos need to know? The last three final cards, if you have to sum it up. I told you with that double card, I could feel like there was a really strong sexual attraction. There's also a really strong energy, though, of holding back. I think it's because either you're healing or they're still healing. So <clears throat> there's um, that's why they're holding back, for sure. Or that's why you're holding back. One of you is holding back. Last three cards. We have number three, nurture. I think that, is that the Empress again? I bet the fuck it is. Yep. Look at this. Number three, nurture. Number three, empress. It's the empress card. I was like, this is a major arcana card. So this person, yes. Like, they literally see you as... Oh, Leo. Leo Divine Feminines. <laughs> I don't see you escaping this person <laughs> because they see you as the empress. Like the, this energy came out twice already. They see you as a seductive goddess who is, um, I mean, if you look at the empress, she represents pretty much everything about the divine feminine. She's beautiful. She's seductive. She's strong. She's independent. She's, um, fertile. She, um, she basically represents, um, everything about, uh, self-love. We have healing again. So Leo, you are definitely doing some massive healing issues. I mean, I can't even, I can't even talk. You are definitely doing some massive healing healing some massive issues in your love life right now see we got number six healing begins my phone is going off the chain right now <laughs> people blowing it up healing begins and it's starting in the heart chakra do you see this it's starting in the heart chakra and going up The reason that this person cannot stay away from you is because of this. Look at this. You're shining your lights. You're finally 
comfortable enough to be in your goddess energy. Look at this. See, this is the empress. She's she is represents queen like energy. She's royalty. And he's your divine masculine whoever this whoever this reading's for. I mean, you can s s swap the, you know, divine masculine divine feminine. But they definitely see you divine feminine as this energy. They're seriously super smitten. We got number three. We got we got a lot of threes. We got three, we got six, and we got three again. We have three, sadness and isolation. I have to read this card because I don't know what it's about. I think it's three of swords. So, you know, this energy of healing, this feels like you are healing a lot of past heartbreak. See healing. So you had a lot of bumps in the road in regards to your love life. And so you took time to be by yourself so that you could heal. That's what that is. Hold on. We got to find this. Sadness and isolation. Keywords. Sorrow, disappointment, trust, healing. I told you. Healing, healing, healing. Look at this, Leo. Healing, healing, healing. Wow. Love can bring both joy and sorrow. When disappointment enters your life, it's important to acknowledge the accompanying sadness and feelings of loss. However, it's equally vital not to dwell on the loss. The temptation may be to isolate yourself in the world and cling to your grief. This card is a reminder to trust that this situation, as hard as it may be, is in your best interest. It's time to gently let go of the sorrow and disappointment. Sorrow can hold you back or it can elevate you to new levels of understanding. Focusing on your sadness and loss will prevent you from attracting new positive energy around relationships. So it's time. Did you hear that, Leo? It's time to turn your disappointment into hope for the future. Ask what lessons you can learn from the situation. Move beyond despair into healing. And I feel like you're doing that because, look, we got it over and over again. Healing. We got healing begins. See? <laughs> um, move beyond despair and into healing and joyful love. Let's go and move on. You have more powerful spiritual forces helping you than you could ever imagine. That is beautiful energy. We are going to wrap this up, Leo, and we're going to end with um, your spirit message. Are you supposed to be on the couch, Kitty? I don't think that you are. Okay. <laughs> My little familiars are getting out of control. Ooh, wee wee. See wee wee. This reading has been off the chain. All right, let's wrap this up for Leo. It was 28-28 on my phone. Camera. <laughs> All right, what do we got for Leo? What do we got for Leo? After this, I, would re I will be reading for Taurus. Because y'all were the top three. It was Cancer. Oh, Leo, Taurus. Ah! Our car dropped on the ground. Letting go. 26. 26. Letting go. So right now, Leos, I see you literally. Look at this. I see you literally. There's a graveyard behind her. There's a cemetery. And there's people in black robes and candles. And it looks really scary. But you know what? This divine feminine does not look scared. This is number 26. So if you add it up, it's number 8. That's going to resonate with someone. Hey, that's my life path number. Hey. 8th. <laughs> 8th? <Eighth? laughs> Anyways, so I see you, Leo, letting go of everything that no longer serves you. You're just cutting things off left and right. Cutting off motherfuckers left and right. You're just like... If you're not right for me, bye-bye. You're just like, nope, 
nope, nope. You're just cutting, 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 cutting. <laughs> Slicing it off like cheese, Leo. <laughs> Good for you. Good for you. Because doing that is going to create um, spaces and gaps in your timeline for everything new to come in. Let go of all that old shit and move forward. And you know what? Don't even let that darkness those dark, shady, hooded characters mess with your beautiful energy. You just keep right on stepping, okay? Step into that light. I see nothing but good things coming for you, my beautiful Leos. Okay, if you want to book a reading with me, um, there's a little tiny arrow that's like on the left. Is it on the left? Left, right? I don't know. Okay, so on, if I'm looking at it, it's on the right. <laughs> it's down here. And you just click it. It's a little tiny arrow and it points down like this. <laughs> I think it points down. Or maybe it's like this. I don't know. Anyways, but if you click it, it shows my description box. It gives you all the information, all of my prices, everything that I offer. Everything's everything's there. So if you want to um, connect with my Etsy shop, it's there. Um, if you feel so guided to check out my son's channel, that is a feature. It's a feature channel um, on my channel. That's always in my description box below. Excuse me. I have two different ways, <laughs> two different methods now that you guys can use to tip me. My Chakra Bunny Tarot, PayPal, my Cash App. That's two different methods now that you can use to tip me. Um, what else? If you want to connect with me further, Leos, you can um, connect with me on Instagram. That's where I do most of my posting and most of my work. So... Yeah, we're done. I love you, Leo. Bye. I'm going to do your sexual energy read. I'm going to put it on Patreon. Yes. Bye-bye.